Hi, I'm Philip Murray and I'm the CEO of the Launch Lab. That's Stellenbosch University's business incubator based in Stellenbosch. And we are also incubating businesses all over the country. So I have been working with startups since the early 2000s. I was involved with a, a venture capital company called HBD or Here Be Dragon, started by Mark Shuttleworth. And um, so we started in 2000. I worked there for six years uh, for investing in startups, actually. Uh, then I got into coaching and consulting of small businesses and startups before in 2010 starting to work with Stellenbosch University helping them to spin out startups from research and then also involved with starting up the launch lab uh, to house those research spin outs and also to incubate other relevant startups around the country. Any way that you can help uh, startups, support startups, invest in startups encourage them, give them opportunities to access funding or access the markets uh, is, is sorely needed. So myself and also Launch Lab are very keen to help out in any way we can. It's always nice to have unique ideas um, to promote entrepreneurship and, and, and startups and entrepreneurs. It's a tough job and so uh, this is a fun way I think to allow entrepreneurs to pitch possibly makes it reduces the stress a little bit because it's in a unique environment so I think it's a, it's a fun idea. Hi I'm Jonathan and I'm co-founder of a company called Vibe Scouts and we're just looking to meet an interesting investor maybe get some good insight into what we're doing right what we're doing wrong potentially get some information about funding and uh, we just want to thank Uber and WeTracker for providing this platform um, yeah for our startups and contributing to this ecosystem. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm a co-founder of Vibe Scouts, uh, entrepreneur in Cape Town for the past five years. How are things going with the business? Yeah, so um, at Vibe Scout, basically what we're trying to do is help people find things to do. And we understand that it looks different um, depending on the person. And But what we found is that as long as you cover content related to events, to movies, activities and food, you generally answer that question for the person. And uh, Currently in the market, we found that, you know, entertainment content for those different verticals are all provided by different uh, publishers. And we yeah. said, you know, why not put that into one platform? We thought that was, that's a big opportunity. Because if we can do that and it's unbiased and it's simple to use, um, we could almost create a habit with the user um, to come back and for, you know, for that to be their daily place for local discovery of things to do, you know, in their city. So are you past break even now in terms of... So, adoption? what is your break even number? It's a very tricky space. I mean, we need to get to the point of maybe half a million users. Mm. So, for us, we probably only see ourselves breaking even in a year or two. Okay. And uh, who would be your ideal strategic partner? Someone who's grown uh, an online business, you know, understands the, the, the economics of, of growing an online business from, you know, acquiring customers to retaining customers to building, you know, business models you know, in an online business environment um, or someone, you know, very sort of uh, well positioned in the entertainment industry, you know, mm. maybe, uh, you know, uh, similar startups like this abroad have been funded by movie houses or distributors um, or, you know, yeah, big players within the, in the entertainment or media industry. So the, the pitch was uh, really interesting. It's uh, quite tricky to get everything down in like 90 seconds and, and then to get feedback and to almost talk to someone that you don't know and for them to or for you to almost sell yourself and the business um, but a very important skill that, I've, that I'm starting to learn um, but yeah I think overall it was good uh, the experience was good even meeting some of the other entrepreneurs there um, was, was, was good and networking with them and so yeah thanks to WeTrack and Uber for the experience. Feedback on Vibe Scout and, and Jono I was impressed with the fact that he's a serial entrepreneur and the fact that he can get this other business Vibe Scout going based on um, income cash from, from his other business, that's, that's obviously a good sign. He's, he's been there, done this before. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks encouraging. I certainly want to, uh, want to continue the conversation. Uh, we even have a, a partner that um, potentially uh, could be interested in this. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's a, a yes from our side in terms of further engagement.